have the second part. So I told her, I said, you have to forgive. She wouldn't forgive. She had been uh, writing this man in prison. And he later moved in with her and a boys after my uncle's death. She was actually seeing him while my uncle was alive because my uncle had cheated on her. So she was hurt. And women, when we heard, some women, we try to hurt our partner back. But this was just plain, just low down, I thought. Like he begged her to forgive him. When you die, that's all you have is your words. You have nothing else to give or take away. So God told me, okay. And I told her for the last time that her money would be garnished. Now her teenage boys that live next door to me had got into some problems in my apartment building. They had robbed a lady from up under me that lived there in the apartment building here in Ohio. And when they robbed her, she thought I had something to do with it because I lived in the same building. I had nothing to do with that. I was a big girl. I had children. I don't go through nobody's window and steal. I'm still nothing in my life. I pay for everything I have. So I didn't understand that. So when the cops come, they did an investigation and next door was my children's school right there in the neighborhood right next door so everything was perfect as far as sending my children to school even though my aunt had custody at the time I got to see them so that's why I went to be near my children you know so when I got in all this trouble the cops asked me and they took me down to the station and asked and said were you involved in this and I said no and the children her boys they told the truth they said no she had no dealings in it they looked in the closet. The boys had stole. At my aunt's house, they looked in the closet. The boys had stolen Nintendo. They stole jewelry and things like that. They stole a lot from this lady. And she also had weed. Um, they also tried to say one of the boys were involved with her. Because these boys were not little boys. They were tall. They looked like men. They were very handsome boys. To be young, you know. Um, still in the same, they were wrong. She told me, my aunt, at one time, she said, um, you know, my boys will do what they will, you know, and they did. She spoiled them, and they drunk with her, they drunk liquor and stuff, they even smoked weed and stuff, you know, and no, it's not right. So the boys, uh, they were growing as teenagers, and, you know, they gave the mother much problems, much disrespect to her, you know, part of them missed their father too, and I understand that. So this new man come, they didn't like him at all. It was an evil presence about him I've always felt. I've always felt uneasy. Um, I had these large murderer hands is what I call it. I mean, it's just, it, the hands were just, just overly large, larger than any man I've ever met. And I just, I just, something leery about him. Something just leery and just off about him. And I told her about him many times. I told my aunt. And God kept uh, his promise at the end of the story, and I'm going to get to that. A few years later, they moved to another house. They started the big ball, and he was still out of stores and um, things like that, and take groceries and even go to thrift shops and steal and things like that. And they become to decorate their homes with beautiful things, nice things. Um, gorgeous home. They didn't own it, they rent it, but they fill it with a lot of stuff. She didn't want anything, want for anything. She had clothes and everything. She become the mayor of this jerk. And I'll get to that. She married him, and it was the biggest mistake that she could make. She would take and she would send packages to this woman who supposedly was her newfound husband's sister. But in the end, she'd find out the truth, but it'd be too late for her. So one day, it was on my heart, and God spoke to me. 
Her children had got in trouble for the last time. And they were being foul-mouthed and want to beat up on me and things like that. They actually jumped me and stuff and mistreated me. And uh, basically what's happened is God told me to tell them that your children will go to jail. And they will go to prison. And they, they will. And for you, it will be too late. And when I tried to figure out what God meant by that, I did not know because God only wanted me to see so much right then, but it's so clear to, to me now as of why he didn't want me to see the rest of that. So I sat with confusion a bit, but I never got, I never denied God and what he was trying to tell me to tell her. I just told her like he told me to tell her and I did. I did everything that God wanted me to do. I tried to reach her at every, every time I tried to reach her to let her know that, you know, she needs to forgive. She never forgives. In part three, in a minute.